Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back in the kitchen. My name is Kayla. What's good, you guys? I know. I have not been here with a recipe in a minute, but I'm back in the kitchen. Some of you may know I am doing the keto diet right now. I've been doing it for like over a month now, about a month and a half. However, um, um, I did cheat the last week or so. So, I hope the camera's straight. I'm so sorry if it's not. <laughs> like, I don't know. But yeah, I have it in a spot. I've never put it before. But anyway, I'm back. And I'm better. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, stuffed bell peppers. Now this can be done in a number of ways. I'm showing you the way, uh, one way of doing it. Um, I actually did not get to like go to the store and get everything that I needed. Or I should say I went to the store and they didn't have everything I needed. So I'm basically doing another version of the stuffed pepper. But there's a million ways, there's a million modifications, there's a million ingredients and recipes to stuffed bell peppers. So with what I have, I'm going to show you guys. And this is 100% keto friendly. Um, keto friendly diet mean that there are no carbs and there's no sugar um, and high in fat so we are going to get cooking um, I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need to make the dish all right so what you're gonna need is the type of meat that you like so I've got ground beef here I've got some mushrooms some broccoli the bell peppers of course I've got Havarti cheese you can choose any cheese and then I've got some seasoning, so I have garlic powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, some thyme, and some all-purpose, of course. You already know, that's the plug right there, that's the plug. Alright guys, so we're going to get started by cutting up all of the vegetables. So I'm going to be cutting the um, tops off of this and stuffing them. Or what I might do actually is cut them in half and make two out of it. So you got a little bit more with your money. Um, we're going to chop this up into small pieces. We're going to make like a broccoli rice. And then I'm also going to chop up the mushrooms and make this really, really small to fit into the pepper as well. we got to cook our meat, of course. And the cheese is going to stay like this. I got this sliced cheese because I'm lazy. So, yeah, let's do this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just slice these in half. I've already rinsed these out. So, on the inside, you're going to have to take out the seed. And do it very carefully because we want to keep the shape inside so that way we can stuff it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them. If you do it this way, most people, they just cut the top off and um, and stuff it that way, which you can definitely do. But to make a little bit more out of it, um, you can cut them in half like this. So this one's got a tough stem. All right, guys. So my stuffed peppers are cut open so now what I'm going to do is just rinse them out because I want to clear the seeds out of it and have them ready for the oven okay guys so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut up my um, what are these mushrooms and I'm not going to cut them up too too small because um, it will like get smaller when you cook it so just going to chop it up a little bit with an easy chop and like I was saying before, you don't have to use mushrooms. You could, if you don't like mushrooms, you could substitute this for cauliflower. You can just use broccoli. You don't even have to put vegetables in it. Um, you know what I mean? But this is just if you want to make kind of a more um, filling and advanced uh, stuffed pepper. So that is good. Everything's been rinsed already, guys. So don't come at me. And the broccoli and the uh, mushrooms are going to go in at the same time after the meat's cooked. So it's okay that we're like putting it together right now. Okay guys, so I have my vegetables chopped up. I've got my um, bell peppers all nicely emptied in the inside and rinsed. Um, and now it's time for the meat. Alright, so we're basically just going to cook this like normal, we're going to put it on the stove, we're going to season it up, and then once the meat is cooked, we're going to put in our um, mushroom and broccoli, and then I'm going to show you guys what to do next, okay? Okay guys, so with the meat, I'm not going to add any oil or anything into the pan, 
One thing that I um, forgot to get was onion. I would normally make uh, make this with onion, but it's actually more keto without onion, so that's good. Um, so I just have my pan on like just medium to high, and um, you don't actually need to put any oil into your pan. You can just put the ground beef into it because it will produce its own oil. So you don't want it to um, be too oily because that's just not healthy. So. So yeah, I've got my meat in there. I'm gonna add the seasoning. We're gonna let it cook up and then I'll see you guys again once we add in our vegetables, okay? Okay guys, so my meat is pretty much almost done. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water to it and um, get the water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water into it because I'm gonna get my vegetables in there and I want it to steam a little bit. Pour a little bit of water. Let's add the vegetables. Go right in. And again, it's your preference if you want to chop these up a little bit smaller. Let's say you've got like small bell peppers. You can definitely um, do it different sizes. I'm honestly starving. I have not eaten all day. So I'm just trying to get this done. But I didn't want to do it without showing you guys how to make it because um I don't know. I just thought like it's a perfect time. So oh this looks good. So yeah. I wanna get these nice and soft. And I'm just I'm hungry. Uh so yeah. Just gonna keep stirring this guys and basically we just want the broccoli and the mushroom to get a little bit softer <clears throat> before we stuff it in the pepper. Mm. Yes, it looks so good. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second once the broccoli and the mushroom is ready. Okay guys, so my mixture of the meat and the vegetables is ready to put into the pepper and stuff it. So this is how it's looking. And don't worry about the water because we're not going to be putting that into the pepper. We're just going to scoop out the um, vegetables and meat. Looks delicious. And make sure you guys test out a little bit. Like, it's got the flavor that you want. Ooh. Yeah, make sure it's got the flavor that you're looking for, add spice, add salt, whatever. Um, because once it goes into the pepper, it's going to be harder to season up and all that. So, anyways. So, what I have done is prepared my stuffed peppers on a sheet with tin foil, So, that way it's ready for the oven. So, here it is. And yeah, we're just going to literally stuff it with the meat inside. Okay. You guys want to see me stuff? All right, fine. You can watch me stuff it. Bam. Okay, so I like using a spoon. I think it's easy because it's small and you can actually go inside of the um, bell peppers, but feel free to do whatever you want. <laughs> so literally just carefully go like that and press it inside. It doesn't fall out. I don't know if I'm actually gonna stuff all of them depends how much meat actually I have see it's important to cut things up because you want it to fit inside so I would say not to go bigger than what I did just in case feel free to overload these two if you have enough I thought I wasn't gonna have enough but I do so, one great thing that I like about this is like, um, if you do have leftovers, you can either get some more bell peppers and stuff some more later on for the week, or you can actually just eat this like that. I actually ate it like that one time and I was like, this is lit. So you do what you want. So guys, what we're going to do is put it into the oven, um, for about 20 minutes until you, um, because remember what's in the inside is already cooked, but it's the bell pepper itself that's not cooked. So if you prefer your bell pepper to be soft and cooked, then leave it in there for longer. If you like it crunchy and you um, like it more um, 
just the way that it is you leave it in there for five minutes or so um with me personally um i'm gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes and take it out and then i'm gonna put the cheese on top and bake it for another 10 minutes or so until the cheese is melted um but yes if you are one of those people who like it the way it is crunchy then um you can put the cheese on from right now in the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese is melted until it's the way that you like it and you're lit all right guys so as you can see the stuffed peppers um are cooked um the peppers are you know i would like it to be a little bit more but i really can't wait no more but yeah guys so leave it in the oven as long as you like if you want them soft like i said or you can take them out whenever you feel like it um so i have taken them out of the oven and now it's time to put on the cheese all right and the cheese is on top so i'm gonna leave it in the oven for a little bit till the cheese is melted five to ten minutes or so and then it's time to eat these bad boys yo the food is ready i'm so amped so there we have it stuffed peppers all right so i'm about to put something or put one of these on the plate and dig right in so yeah you know Ooh, I'm about to dive in. Wow. Wow. okay so um one thing that you can eat with this eat it by itself if you want but i love sour cream and sour cream is keto friendly so i'm about to throw some sour cream on here yeah and if you want and you have some at home you can make it you can also add some salsa on top and it's, i'm telling you it tastes like a taco like it it's weird but it tastes like a taco but anyways guys so that is it that is all that's how you make a stuffed pepper on the keto diet it's keto friendly and delicious like i'm gonna be eating this every day until they're done so yeah anyways i'm out i'm about to eat i'm super hungry but definitely hit that subscribe button like up the video leave a comment down below try out the keto diet if you want to it's lit and yeah guys your girl's about to be but anyways peace out bye sorry i forgot to try it guys I should maybe try it. Oh, you said you were pickle. Mm -hmm. mm. You said you're gonna be a vegetarian? Nah, I like. I oh my god, it's so good. Honestly. Not right now. Try this recipe out. Appreciate it.